Hey guys, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday and it's pretty late in the day already. What time is it? I think it's like 2. It's 2.18 and the entire day I've basically just been cleaning. The only reason that I got up and like took a shower and got ready was because I have to go to the vet to pick up some medicine for my cats. Um, and I also want to get like stuff from the container store. We're going to go to Marshalls. I think we're going to go to Target. Because, as you can tell, things are very different in my room. I finally moved in my furniture again. Mind you, this isn't even done. They patched the top, like the outside, and now there's somebody that's coming to do the inside. But I just, we could not deal with another week of all of our stuff in the living room. So things are very, very different in my room now. I wanted it to look kind of like boutique-y. So all my shoes are over here. I literally finally took out all of my shoes because... I showed you guys the other day that all of my stuff was just like everywhere so I have a ton of my shoes here I have all of my boots over here I brought my perfumes back in I had Tyler put this up on the wall um, this is going to be like where I get ready so when I film videos it'll be this way like this will kind of be the backdrop and I figured when I do styling videos this will be perfect if I just put this here um, and film the videos like this so I figured this would be a cool like background sort of thing and then now I have this desk on this side with I put all of my hats up on the wall because I didn't have any more space to fit them anywhere like I had no place to put them um, I'm obviously not done cleaning there's still a lot of cleaning that is going on I just have tons of stuff to throw away but we're literally about to walk out the door and now I have my Alex drawer in my closet I put all of my shoe box shoe boxes stocked stacked back there and then I went through and I went through all of these and emptied like everything that I realistically don't use I need to go through this uh, drawer still all of my gel like polishes everything that I use to do my nails is in here and then this is just like a miscellaneous drawer that I like I said I still need to go through but now I have all this space to put all of my shoes flat so there's been a lot of progress I'm going to empty this out and put everything that's in here into my Alex drawers like I just want a lot of stuff like gone like there's just too much stuff in here i have like literally bags of trash everywhere and then our living room finally looks like our living room again but now we have to find some sort of furniture to put here which is where we had that huge um shelving unit that i just put in my room so i have like all of the stuff i should put this in the sink all of the stuff that was on that shelving unit is now in my entryway while we finish i should put that in there Thing. So this is kind of just like a break because once I get back, I'm going ham. I will probably be cleaning until tomorrow, honestly. But because of the fact that we have not had our house, basically, like it's been a disaster every single day because of these people coming in. They had there was literally branches in my in my room the other day because they were on top of the roof, like taking the shingles off, and it's just been a hot mess. But yesterday I went to the beach with my sister, and you can see I am very very tan very tan um so i don't have any makeup on because my makeup does not match me let me go to my other and then i have my full length mirror here right now i don't know if i'm gonna keep it here i kind of want tyler to put it on the back of one of my uh sliding doors but i'm just not i don't know i have to see if not i'm gonna take it and have him like put it up on the wall if not i'm going to rearrange the gallery wall and put the mirror on the wall and then do the gallery wall around it but right now it's sitting right here so i just want to show you guys my outfit don't mind my hole in my in my ceiling um brenda linen core hat this is available on bnc this muscle tee is coming on tuesday um so it'll you guys will probably see this video on monday so that means yeah tuesday uh these shorts are also launching on tuesday these are our high rise our high rise mom shorts this is a Brenda Lynn and Cora old bag. We have the cognac color available. Um, and then I have the slides on from Zara. I need to like do my bar cart. My bar cart looks pathetic. I think we're also gonna go to Trader Joe's. Um, I bought this tequila in Mexico on the way back. I have some tahine in here. I just, I have to get a lot of stuff today. So it's probably gonna be an expensive day, but whatever. I just wanna get everything organized again. I might go to the container store and get stuff to organize from there and I just want everything like spotless by Monday so I will see you guys a little bit later I do plan on vlogging the entire day so I'll see you guys later um, and I'll keep you guys updated on what we end up doing sure so we just got back in the car from spending a million dollars on our cats um, so now this plaza has a home goods so we're gonna go to the home goods and see what we can find 
Hopefully it's open. Yeah, it is. Um, and then we're gonna get food? Yes. Okay, then we're gonna get food, but we don't know where we're gonna get food at. We're not sure, so. I put my mask back on. Where the pills? Okay, right there. So hopefully we find some gems. I will let you guys know what we find. This is a, excuse me, like not a far area, but it's further away from where we live. And I don't really have much luck every time I go to the home goods by my place. And I think it's because the area that I live in, a lot of women um, are stay at home moms. It's a very ritzy area and a lot of the women don't work. So they are at home goods like in the morning. Like I've never gone to the home goods there and it'd be empty because there's always like moms there. So yeah, we're about to head inside now. Put this receipt here. I'm freaking hungry. So rainy, you know, the sunshine state. Successful trip. Cashier number two, please. Starting route to home. Proceed Are we not going to Target? Lake Road, then turn right. I don't remember where we were going to go. Oh, he, he needs to go home. Okay, we'll go home. Yeah, we'll hang out. Mm. So we just finished eating. We had Mexican because clearly we're not over it yet. Um, I had a shrimp, no, Turn right a mahi taco right. and a carne asada taco. And you had two carne asada? Si. He had two, two carne asada tacos. I had a spicy margarita, which was delicious. And he had a Corona because like I said, we're clearly still not over it. Um. So, now we're on our way home. I'm going to look at all the things that I bought because I don't even remember now what I bought. Do a haul? I have to do a haul, yeah. I'm gonna do a haul and continue cleaning. You should vlog the haul so that when you post, you, it's like double the fun. I could, but then that's only one video. <laughs> Whereas I need three no. videos a week. No, I'm saying post the haul but vlog that I'm the doing a portion of the haul. Be like, all right, I'm about to start the haul. I'll be back. Boom, film it. All right, I just did a haul. Stand by for the haul in a later episode. You know, let's see. Got this. I look like Pharrell. Like you're about to put out a forest fire. That hand sanitizer smells good. I don't know what you're talking about. It smells like cucumbers. It's literally cucumber. Lately, my videos are getting demonetized because there's music. Mind you, like it's not like soundtrack. It's just like, like this. Oh my God, this song reminds me of a really good movie that I used to watch when I was younger. Um, So I had to keep editing my Tulum haul or to my Tulum vlog because there was a song playing in like 10 seconds of a clip at one of the restaurants that we went to and it would not let me monetize my video and it's like I could have put it up and be demonetized but it's like no like I'm doing the work and I'm doing the video so I want to monetize my videos and so I had to go through take the exit onto North Garland Avenue. I edited it edited it three separate times to take all of the footage out that had the music in it and it also did that with a different video that I had that I I pay for a website that gives me royalty free music and royalty free music is basically when you can use the music and it doesn't like flag your stuff and it flagged my shit so I'm like what's the point of paying for royalty free music if it's still gonna demonetize my video for using the music so we're back home I have to turn the light on because it's so dark outside because of how like rainy it is these are all of the bags from home goods I don't think I've ever had a home goods run that was this successful um i'm about to, excuse me i'm about to clean this desk off so that i could put my phone here and film a haul 
and I'm so excited, like so excited. I obviously, I did not do my hair. I haven't done my makeup because I'm just, I'm really dark. I mean, look at this. That melanin coming through. So I think I'm gonna clean up a little bit so that I can do a video. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So um, it'll be a couple of hours. I'll probably have like a glass of wine or something while I do it. Um, but I'm gonna straighten up a little bit over here just so that nobody has to see the disaster that is on my table. And then I'm gonna get to filming. Guys, look at my mess from filming that home goods haul. <laughs> and Oliver thinks it's a good time. Don't you, buddy? Don't you, buddy? Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. So I'm about to finish cleaning this so that I can start editing and just chill for the night. And I need to charge my battery because it is blinking. I am almost done. Yeah, you got caught. I got my boots. Don't want my glass of wine. I got my boots. I'm testing out a eyeliner right here. So far, it looks really good. Boots here. Heels here. I have space for some, which is not good. All this stuff here. I have some stuff to throw away and all that, but makeup desk, work desk. And I'm gonna go to Target because I feel like it. I'm going by myself. Tyler's playing video games. There we go. Tyler's playing video games, so I'm going by myself. So I'll see you guys in a few. So I decided that I wanted to go to Target. Don't mind the box in my in the back seat. I feel like at this point you guys already know. Um, and my jean shorts, whatever. So I am about to go to Target. I wanted to go by myself because I just, I don't like shopping with men. I don't know if it's just me, but when I go to like Target or Marshalls or anywhere like that, I feel super rushed. Like, even if I'm not being rushed, I feel rushed. So I told Tyler, I was like, you stay there, play your video games. I'm gonna go, I wanna go to Target and browse the aisles and like look at stuff. And I wanna get stuff for my bar cart. And I just want to look at stuff in peace. I don't want him bothering me. I'm sure a lot of you girls with either boyfriends or husbands can feel the exact same. Um, I need to get a new nail file. So that's one thing that I have to remember to get. I just bought a whole bunch of prints from Decenio so that I could do like a bar cart corner in my house. I moved my bar cart over to that big empty wall and now I feel like if I fill that wall with prints having to do with like cocktails and wine and champagne, it'll look really cute. So I'm gonna do that. Um, obviously I have to wait till they come in, but I also have to get framed, so that should be fun. But right now at Target, I'm not really looking for anything specific. The only thing I'm gonna look for is wines and stuff to fill my bar cart. And if I see anything cute along the way, then cool. Um, I might look at like beauty stuff. Just like, I don't know. I don't know, lotion. I need lotion. Little things like that. So I'll let you guys know what I end up finding. I'm not going to do like a haul or anything unless I find like a ton of stuff. But you guys are coming to Target with me. The best pajamas ever.
So I'm back home and I figured I'd show you guys what I got. My lighting is way better over here. Um, don't mind another hole in my roof. I've told you guys about this construction. Um, main thing I got was wine for my bar cart. So I got a bottle of Miraval, which is really, really good rosé. Like, really good. I got a bottle of Prosecco just to have for Aperol Spritz. I got this um, Slow Press Cab Sav. I've had it before and I really, really like it. And I got this bottle right here of the collection Pinot Grigio. Tyler likes this wine a lot. So I got those four bottles. I spent $180. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, what the hell? I didn't even buy anything. I also bought some of the Nivea Essentially Enriched Nourishing Cream. This is a really, really good moisturizer. I got this Olay Cleansing and Nourishing Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. I already used the Olay, but this one was like the step up of it. So I figured I would get that. It smells really nice. I also picked up some reusable silicone gel petals. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this as I was like grabbing it. <coughs> I picked up a cardamom and vetiver candle. I love these types of candles for the fall. So I'm basically getting myself ready. Oh, this smells so good. It smells just like cardamom. It smells really good. It smells like Christmas time. So I picked that up. I picked up this hand wash, which is the Magnolia Home Restore Hand Wash. It smells, wow. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't have the top. It smells really good. Like, it's a uh, lavender, neroli, grapefruit, and vetiver. So it's, it smells really good. Um, I bought this bra that I'm hoping works out really well. I don't know. It looks really comfortable. I got it in a size medium because it says it doesn't even show up to a D. And I'm a 32D, so I just got a size uh, medium because I'm like, okay, 32 is small in the back, big in the cup. I don't know. I got these pajamas because I don't have these. And I've talked about these stars above pajamas a bajillion times. On my channel, these are the best pajamas, the softest pajamas you will ever sleep in in your life. Um, and I don't have these, so I was like, okay, I need to have those. And then I got this thin crust pizza with uncured pepperoni. It's six grams of carbs for half of the pizza. I buy these all the time. These are really good if you're trying to eat low carb or if you're keto. Really good. Uh, so I'm, I guess I'm just going to put everything away now. Finish kind of cleaning up. Finish kind of cleaning up. I basically finished my room already. Um, just a couple things that I have to throw away, but other than that, it is basically completely clean. Like I said, just a few things I have to throw away, like these boxes here. A couple things over here, but it smells delicious. And right now in my Scentsy burner, I am burning... This one. Focusing. There we go. Aloe water and cucumber. Smells really, really good. Uh, so yeah, room is done. Living room is not really done. It looks so empty. But this is where the bar cart is right now. And I think I'm just going to put art here. I just have to clean this off. And I need to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. Because these were all the props that we had on the shelving. I don't have the shelving anymore. I love this new vase that I got today at Home Goods. It's so pretty. So yeah, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff now because now I just have decor everywhere. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So we have left the house. It's actually pretty, is that the right time? Or is it 12.15? I need to fix the time in my car. Um, I still have it on like, it is. Um, so we are going to Ikea. Are we not gonna go to Earl's? Yeah, I thought. We were gonna go here first. No, I literally just said I'm starving. Okay. Um, we're going to Ikea. Ikea is right in there, but we're right by like a big mall. Um, if you live in Orlando, you know the Mall of Millennia. And I think we're gonna eat Earl's, which is like one of my favorite places in the area. Really good food, really good cocktails. It's Sunday, so it's like, why not? I'm wearing this maxi dress from Brenda Lynn and Cora. By the time you guys see this, I'm not sure if it's still gonna be available because um, it's on sale, but if it's still available, I'll link it. 
below. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go to Ikea and see if we, I don't even know what we're going, oh, a dresser, like a small dresser, right? Yeah, or an, an, or an entertainment center yeah. thing. We need a new entertainment center for our TV because in the living room, we got a bigger TV and now the entertainment center looks like a Polly Pocket house toy compared to how big the TV is. So we're gonna look for that. Um, wow, I haven't been to this mall. I haven't been to the mall period in so long. I used to work at this mall. We actually need to buy socks and underwear, so. Yeah, but where? In here. In the mall. But where? I don't think I've ever bought socks and underwear at Millennia. Well, there's I mean, there's Victoria's there's Secret, amazing, but. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. I washed my hair finally and blow dried it since we've come back from Mexico. It's a little bit rough because I haven't really been putting moisture in it. We'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm hungry and I'm grumpy and I don't feel like talking right now. And I got to the doors and I seen they were sold out of the doors. So I was like, fuck it. Like, I could, I'll still buy it if it's just the doors. But if it didn't have the legs either, it's like, fuck, like, it's gonna sit on the ground. So we just had a very annoying, few, put your seatbelt on, few hours. Um, came to Ikea. We went to eat. So we came back to Ikea to get an entertainment center because that's what we came for. We found exactly what we wanted, exactly the color, exactly the price point. Walked through the whole Ikea, got to the bottom, and they told us that the pieces were sold out. So we left with an olive tree, which you can't see the, the back is back there. It's, it's fake. I can't do real plants. I kill them all. An olive tree, some margarita glasses for my bar cart, and tools. So it was pretty annoying. We got Earl's, we got you Earl's. Yeah, but the food was good, um, like really good. It's just annoying, because I feel like my energy is drained. Yeah. I'm sure yours is the same way, yeah. especially after you eat. Like, I'm just drained now, and then we didn't even get what we came for. So we're on our way back home now. So we did all that to eat, basically. Yeah, we <laughs> came all the way over here, basically, to eat. So we're back home. I put the olive tree up, but of course we forgot to get a pot for it. So I think it's gonna be really cute once we get a cute little pot. I just don't know what color I want the pot now. Terracotta. Terracotta? We could do terracotta. I am waiting for Tyler to feel like he wants to pierce my ears because we are going to pierce my third hole. He pierced this one. When did you pierce this one? in like April. I've had this one pierced for a long, you can tell this was like my childhood piercing. And I wanna get one right here. And I'm going to put these earrings, the one that I have in my ear now, the little tiny gold stud. Let's see if you can see it. So that little gold stud is actually a cat. It's gonna be really hard to see, but let me see if I can zoom in. My sister got me these for my birthday from Catbird. These are solid gold, so that's why I use these to pierce my ears. Um, and then one of my friends got me another pair of earrings from Catbird. These are also solid gold, so this is what they look like. It doesn't really make sense when you see them hanging here or sitting here. So don't mind this. This shows like every particle of dust. This is what the earring looks like. So this goes basically like this and it turns into a tiny little hoop like that. So what I'm going to do is put these in the hole that I already have that have the little cat earrings. And then we're going to use the cat earrings to pierce the next hole. So that is the plan. I just have to wait for Tyler to want to do it. And if you guys did not know, which probably you guys didn't know because there's no reason that you would. Tyler, before tattooing, he was a piercer. So yes, Tyler owns a tattoo shop. He is a licensed tattoo artist and piercer. Um, but since obviously I live with him, I get to get pierced at home. I'm just waiting for him to want to do it. I think I'm going to make myself a drink because it's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I don't know. So, should I make myself a...
cocktail? Should I make myself a spritz? Because I have Prosecco and I have Aperol. Or I can... No, I don't trust myself making a margarita. Or I can have some rosé. Or I can have Pinot Grigio. But I like my Pinot Grigio really cold. So, I think... I think I'm going to do the Miraval. Which one should I do? A spritz or rosé? Uh, okay. So I'm going to put this in the freezer for a second. This is the bottle that I have. It's very good. So. Actually, I'll put it in my freezer. So much cleaning to do. The goal was to find a entertainment center today so that we could switch this out we found one and it was perfect and it was huge and it was the color of this so it was gonna it was gonna be perfect and half of the pieces were missing so and we don't have a damn pot i need to go online and find a pot for this like right now so i think that's what i'm gonna do and once i do i don't know if we're gonna look are we gonna look online to order the pieces Okay. I'm looking for entertainment centers online. We're on Wayfair right now. I think we found one, but just to make sure, I'm still looking while he is cleaning and disinfecting all the goods. I need you to, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ow. Well, I'm trying to get it out. Jeez. Mm. It's never came out before. Oh my god, you're hurting me more than the damn piercing. Right, I, I gotta get it off. Hold on. God. Oh, that hurt more than the piercing did. I'm sorry. You gotta do this fast. Bear back up. Yeah, that's exactly why you're not supposed to do this. Why, because of animals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're a fucking cat. Bear. Okay, so here's the little hoop. Little hoop one, you can see my ears red because he just slaughtered me. And then this is my first hoop, or my first hole, and then the next one's gonna go there. Do I have to switch? Yeah, I need to, I'm gonna switch. The I'll be back. Mm. Are you gonna warn me again? Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared again. No, I'm scared. I need all the ointment. Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on, let me. Um. All right, guys, so my ears are pierced. I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a little bit. My first ones, or the second ones, didn't hurt that badly, but the third one, Tyler said, like, the higher you go up your ear, the more it, like, becomes sensitive. I'm getting my rosé out of the fridge, or the freezer. Um, so it kind of hurt. My ear's a little bit red, but it isn't anything at all that's unbearable. I've had many, many piercings in my lifetime. I've gotten some crazy things pierced, so it doesn't hurt that bad. I am now about to open my bottle of wine. I'm trying to find my little wine thing.
I got this um, for my birthday from my best friend. It's from the brand Beefull. I'm pretty sure she got it on like Amazon or something. So if I can find it, I'll leave it linked down below. But I'm about to enjoy a glass and do my nails. Tyler went to the shop really quick to do a consult with um, a client. So I'm gonna take some time, have some me time. These are the glasses that I bought. They're margarita glasses, I figured. I love margaritas so much, so. I got four of them for my bar cart. No idea when I'm gonna actually use them because I don't know how to make a margarita. I'm gonna just look up a recipe. But yeah, I'm about to chill, do my nails, and then I'll probably start cleaning up again. I reorganized my drawers. I don't know if I showed you guys this yesterday, but these are literally all my polishes now. So I have my light, light in here, my remover, the outlet. These are all of my colorful gels. These are all of like my neutral colors, like my earthy colors. And then these are all of my regular nail polishes. I don't have that many because I always do like the same three colors. I only do very, very light colors. I have this one from Kathleen Light's uh, collection because it's called Cassiopeia. If you don't know where that's from, you are missing out. Um, and I have this one from this brand, uh, Coat, which has my favorite nail polish of all time for my toes. Which is this one, number seven. This is my favorite toe polish, like, ever. I love it. I actually need to pick up another one. Um, so I think I'm going to do this color today. I have to open it to check. And I also have the matching regular nail polish this is the color uh cinnamon whip from this brand dd dnd me and brendalyn bought a whole bunch of them so this is the matching nail polish not sure if i'm gonna like that one so just in case i'm going to bring my mod about you i wanted to do this color and i thought this was going to be really similar to mod about you but it's not i don't know we'll, we'll see what what I end up picking, but I need this. I need my NCLA cuticle oil. I'm also gonna do my toes, so I use the Sesh Vite best top coat ever. This is my base coat from Formula X. If you know about Formula X, man, Formula X was so good at Sephora. Um, this is my base and my top coat for my gel. I need my nail polish remover. I have no idea where I put my cotton rounds. So, got all my stuff. Oh, my knees. That's how you know you're getting old, when your, your knees hurt. I think I'm actually gonna do my nails right here. It feels better and more comfortable when I do my nails sitting down at like a desk. Still have some laundry to put away, so don't judge me. I'm going to watch some YouTube, which is what I normally do. I don't really watch TV unless it's at night. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I'm gonna do my nails, my toes, and I'll let you guys know which color I end up picking. I can't decide if I wanna do this or this. So once I figure it out, I will let you guys know, but I'll see you guys in a little while.